Hello everyone, welcome to today's episode of Easy SAP ABOP. In this episode, I'm going to show you about string templates, how they can help make your code more concise, and uh, how you can employ them in your ABOP programs. So to get started, we'll go to transaction SE38. I have created a program called Z underscore string underscore templates. We'll just go into change mode here. It's just a blank program at this moment. So string templates, if, you, if you've worked with another programming language, you, you're pretty familiar with this. Um, one example I like to give, something from another tutorial, let's get rid of that. One example I like to give in Java, you can say, um, declare a string using the string dot format and you can say some value percent s pass in a variable so it's a little more verbose in Java all this is saying is take this string and replace this percent s value with the value of my variable it's sorta of like this in ABOP um, let's go ahead and demonstrate it. We'll do it the older syntax where we just declare a string variable. So I'll just say, uh, let's do message, msg, type string. So in older syntax, the way we can do string templates is to open our declaration here of the variable, excuse me, our initialization of this variable. And instead of doing the single quotes for a string, what we want to do is instead replace this with the pipe character as I like to call it if you work with the Unix command line you'll know it is the pipe character it is the same key as your backslash but you're gonna hold shift and what it is is this vertical bar here and if we type the same thing some text we can see the green syntax highlighting um, I'll just go ahead and we'll say message MSG of type information so we can see the output from this when we actually run this program. So we'll run it really quickly. I'll show you, uh, you know, it's not gonna be very interesting right now because we're not really using the functionality of string templating just yet. But the output you'll see is a message with this string, some text. So let's run it. So we get our message, some text. So that's pretty cool. It's just like a string, right? But the beauty of string templates is we can add something in here that is a variable. Or maybe, you know, we concatenate it with some other value. So to include a variable in here, we can't just, let's, let's create another variable here. Let's do another variable. We'll just call it some text type string. And the value of this is, let's say, hello world. So now, if we were going to use the old style way of doing strings, we'd have to come in here and say message equals some text concatenate operator, which is the double ampersand, some text. So we could do it that way, but string templates allow us to do it in the same line in a much easier fashion. So let's do it using string templates. So we'll do our, our bars here, our pipe character. So now, this sum text is just a part of the string. We need to indicate to uh, the SAP that this is actually going to be a variable. And the way that we do that is by surrounding this value with spaces and opening and closing curly braces. So now what's going to happen is at runtime, not at compile time, but at runtime, this string is going to be dynamically interpreted as some text, colon, a space, and then the value of variable some text. So when we output this message to the screen, we should see some text and then the value of the variable some text, which is hello world. So we should see some text, hello world. So I'll just go ahead and activate this. We'll go ahead and run it and we'll take a look at the output. So we see some text, hello world. So we can see that the value of our string is going to be dynamically interpreted from here from this variable value. We can do you know any sort of variable. We could say um, 
let's do hello and then we'll do sorry I'm working on a different keyboard today than I usually have so I'm a little bit slower to type we'll do sy dash uname so this is a current user so it should say hello username my username in this system is developer so when I go to run this I should see the text hello developer output to the screen so we see here hello developer so that's your basic string template let's go ahead and get rid of some text since we're not using that anymore now you see this was old abop syntax I say old abop not that old but older abop syntax you declare a variable in one line you initialize it in another line if you're on a newer version of SAP you can actually say data message in parentheses and then do your string template so these two lines here line 8 and line 9 is the exact same as line 11 so we've created this message uh, this variable msg message data and it's going to be its type is going to be interpreted based on the value on the right hand side of the assignment so we see hello syu name so sap knows from the literal value on our right that this is going to be a string so if we go ahead and check this we should see that we have no issues and everything's activated and if we run it we're gonna have the same as before hello developer so using string templates with the new inline data declaration we can significantly reduce the amount of lines of code that we have to write and this is still pretty straightforward you know sometimes syntax that makes your code not as verbose can also make your code a little more obscure but this to me is not very obscure this works pretty well um, other things we can do with this we can have multiple you know variables so I could say hello SYU name date is SY dash datum for the current date so now when we run this we're gonna get a message that says hello username comma date is and then the current system date so we'll run it and we see hello developer date is and then the current system date so string templates we can do multiple string you know multiple replacements of this string with different you know uh, variables we can concatenate string templates together let's just say something else we can say yesterday is and we can actually do something in this string template like sy datum minus one and so what this will do is actually do this calculation here and whatever that evaluates to will show up in the string so yesterday is and then we're saying today's date minus one if we go ahead and check this code and go ahead activate it and run it we should get a string that says hello developer date is current date and yesterday is and yesterday's date well yesterday is not this let me try some parentheses here I actually haven't done this particular operation but you can certainly do this type of operation I don't know why that's behaving so weirdly I must be missing something here so let's do something a little bit more rudimentary so we can see what I'm talking about here but what if I say instead of yesterday I'll say 1 plus 1 is and then in this template do 1 plus 1 go ahead and check this and activate it and when we run it we get 1 plus 1 is 2 so again, I don't know what that date thing was going on there. I mean, normally if you take you know, SY datum and you mi minus one, you get yesterday's date. But evidently you can't do that in the string template. I learned something today. But you can have evaluations, you know, where you have one variable up here that you've already declared. So I'll say data, let's just call it 15 equals 15. And we'll just do an integer of 15. 
So I'll say 14. Well, let's do let's do 15 plus one is, and then I'll say 15 plus one. So now I'm evaluating this variable 15, which is a literal 15, and I should get output on the screen. 15 plus one is 16. So this is a really neat way to do things. Um, another way that you know people like to use uh, this string template. If you're going to have a string that's going to have a lot of uh, single quotes in it. So for example, if you're constructing a SQL query and you're calling, you know, um, some native SQL or something, let's just do it like this: data SQL equals. So then I can come in here, do my string template. I can say select star from I don't know test. Let's do test table where first name equals and then my name Dustin. So if I output this to the screen, I'm not going to actually run a query here or anything, but I'm going to output this to the screen. You can see that the output is select star from test table where first name equals Dustin. And you see the single quotes around my first name, Dustin. Now the beauty of this, using the string template that's opened with this pipe operator, we don't have to escape single quotes. So this is really useful if you're constructing a lot of SQL statements or something like that where you're going to have a lot of single quotes. Because if we take the same thing here and say message equals and then use single quotes to open it and I say select star from test table where first name equals Dustin. We're going to see here this doesn't work because we have to escape this with a set of double quotes. So two quotes back to back will indicate that this is escaped this quote here should be a quote in the string and not treated as the closing quote for the actual string so we can see here this second one looks a lot more clean than this first declaration that we have down here so that's just a few ways that you guys can use the string template syntax in ABAP especially combined with the inline data declaration syntax this is a very good way to shorten some of your code make it a little bit easier to understand and not so obscure uh, especially if you got like i said you're working with these single quotes in your strings you got right here three different quotes in a row you, you might think that a little bit strange and uh you have to kind of think a little bit what, what's going to happen here what's going to happen but you know when you use this newer syntax for the string templates you uh, can pretty well see what the output's going to be. So thank you guys so much for watching. If you have any questions about string templates and ABOP or anything that I mentioned in this video, please feel free to leave a comment. Leave me a like and a subscribe if this video helped you, and we'll see you in the next video. Thank you.